in the first round of the 90 playoffs. The Knicks dropped the first two games of their series against the Celtics, but then came roaring back to win three straight, including the fifth and deciding game at the Boston Garden. Patrick Ewing with a clinching three-pointer, and Larry Bird, he's had 31 points in game five to lead their team. Stu Jackson and the Knicks beating the Celtics after losing the first two. And uh, that was a best of five series. This is a best of seven. That series back in 1990, one of the bleakest days in Celtic history. Larry Bird missed a reverse dunk in the closing moments that would have iced the game for him. And Ewing's clincher. Oh, what a block by Davis. Went right into the hands of Ward. Three to shoot, two to shoot. Sprewell lost it on the way up, and a shot clock violation. They're going to call a foul. Whoa. <laughs> Larry Bird, he's going to get a technical. He is upset. There's been a long history of calls that have gone against this Indiana team in this building. And Bird felt that that technical foul on Crozier early on. That's a tough call right there. Well, he got him when he got his hands back on the basketball. Miller knocked it out. It came right back to him. Pretty well discontinued that motion. And the crowd is in it now. Our Memorial Day weekend NBA coverage continues tomorrow. Showtime at 3 Eastern. Then game four of the Western Finals between Shaq and the Lakers and Scottie Pippen and the Blazers. 3 o'clock Eastern time for Showtime tomorrow. And then game four, the Lakers and the Blazers. What a game last night, huh? Yeah, terrific game for the Lakers in uh, getting off to a real rough start, re rebounding, and then Portland getting back into it, looking for more of that tomorrow. Nice pass. Smith. Skip pass to Miller. And a foot on the line. It's a two. Long range two. Reggie Miller. He's teed up by Bob Delaney. Wanted a foul call and was still angry about the foul called on him a moment ago against Sprewell. And so Miller gets the tee. All Reggie Miller is asking for is consistency. So if you're going to call the reach in on one end on the exact same play, why don't it? Why doesn't it come back and work for me on the other end? It, it cost him a point as Houston sinks the technical. Let's check with Jim. Tom Bill must read lips because that's exactly what he said. It's the same way on both ends. You got to call it. Bob Delaney didn't want to hear that. Tom. All right, New York with the ball. Charlie Ward. You know, with the big guys out. You can't afford turnovers, and New York has not turned it over in the last 14 minutes. Larry Johnson, top shot. Uh, Larry Johnson has really developed that left hand half hook against Dale Davis, six and a quarter for Johnson. He's three for three in this third quarter, and New York has a four point advantage. Miller will shoot two. Reggie just sits there and stares right back at Bob Delaney and says, now that's got to be a foul. Reggie Miller quick off the dribble and he just trips over the feet of Charlie Ward, goes to the floor, back at the free throw line, but the crowd is on him and this is the way that Reggie likes it the most. Indiana's just attempted four free throws in the game. They've hit them all, the best free throw shooting team in the NBA. While New York is 8 of 10. They're also the best three-point shooting team in the NBA. And it's mind-boggling why they're not attacking the basket more. With the dearth of big men that the Knicks are plagued with right now. Take it to the basket. Get to the foul line. Make the shorter Knicks have to converge a class. That'll give you better three-point looks anyway. Reggie Miller now with 15 points. 10 in the quarter. Everything that the Knicks do, they have to do quickly. And then they have an advantage with that small lineup. Larry Johnson holds. And shoots an air ball. Dudley kept it alive here. Sprewell for three. And rebounded by Davis. Chris Dudley has outscored Rick Smith this quarter. <laughs> <laughs> that goes along with being an all-around good guy with you. Ward slights it. Ward still pushing. Now he delivers to Sprewell. Got it. And that's the Nick basketball that they have to play right now. That's what they did in last year's Eastern Conference Finals. Defense, leaving the transition opportunities and Sprewell on the run. And Charlie Ward with the steal and then the delivery. Reggie Miller over the top of the backboard and out of bounds to the Knicks. 
And Reggie trying to keep him close, but it's been high energy, up tempo basketball that's gotten the New York Knicks on the lead. And every time they get a mistake or force one, they're trying to get in that high percentage area early offense. And Rick Smith, who had 21 in the first half, still has attempted only one shot in the third quarter. Drew well a foul against Jalen Rose and Bill, the thing that you like to talk about is footwork, and you don't see it with Jalen Rose on that defensive possession. Well, this is an incredibly skilled and talented player, and when we were meeting with Larry Bird before the game, Larry was talking about the focus, the concentration, and, and Jalen's necessity to bring it every game. Jalen got popped in the mouth last game, but the mouth shouldn't have anything to do with your footwork. Jalen Rose to the bench. <laughs> Jalen had to go and get a, a, a new cap put on one of his upper front teeth there. They're very painful, but uh, certainly shouldn't keep you from playing much, much better defense. Derek McKee replaces Jalen Rose for Indiana. Second free throw, no good by Sprewell. He has 21 in the game. Aggressive quarter for Sprewell, Johnson, and Allen Houston. Dale Davis says, where's the whistle? Everybody stopped as, as it looked like he got assaulted. <laughs> Dale with 10 points and 14 rebounds. Double-double for Indiana. Well, for the Knicks, they need more separation. It's only a three-point ball game, and their biggest lead was in that first quarter, and Indiana overcame it. Houston. Allen Houston, yes. Little finger roll. It rolled around the rim and fell through for Allen, who has 18. Springwell with 21. Houston with 18 to lead New York. The Smiths with 21, Miller with 15, Davis with 10 for Indiana. Rick Smith. Beautiful. What a stroke. Only his second shot of the quarter. He has 23 points. He had to go way out on the rim to get that one. Rick Smith is not the type of player that gets his own shots, especially at the perimeter shot. Somebody Jackson. But my point is, why have they forgotten about it? Why haven't they been getting it? Go shots? ask Mark Jackson. Go ask Larry Bird. <laughs> Deadly. Stripped away by McKee. New York gets it back with five to shoot. Rick Smith has been unstoppable today for Indiana. Inside or outside. Shows you his touch. He has 23 on 11 of 17 shooting. 